Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Ask Ambi Show. And today we wanna to talk about guardianship and conservatorship. So this has um, been in the news lately because of the Britney Spears conservatorship. And we wanna um, you know, talk about it and uh, see what's what's going on here. So your estate plan, so your estate plan is not only a tool for you to think ahead about how to allocate assets, but also is an important uh, it's an important tool to offer protection for any kind of unexpected situations that could arise, um, such as incapacitation. So many people think of a will and estate plan as the same thing, but they're not. Both uh, a will and estate plan provide instructions for how your goods and assets should be handled after death, but estate planning encompasses much more and it could include uh, such, thing as, such things as a power of attorney uh, to appoint individuals to make medical or financial decisions on your behalf um, when you are unable to do so yourself. Medical directives uh, outline the kinds of medical treatment you want if you become incapacitated. Sure, and then, you know, so what is a conservatorship? So we keep hearing about this um, in the news with Britney Spears. Um, a conservatorship is generally set up for a guardian or a protector to manage a person's financial affairs due to old age, physical or mental limitation. Um, so in Britney Spears' case, her conservatorship started back in 2008 uh, with her father, Jamie Spears, um, having control over her and her estate. So with a conservatorship, there's really two kind of separate control factors. It's, um, you know, the conservator that's appointed can petition for control over that individual's uh, person. So medical decisions where he or she may live. And then there's a second um, part to it, which would be their, their estate, which is like managing all their money and finances. Um, and then so in her situation, in Britney Spears' case, um, this was then changed in 2019, where a personal conservator was assigned to help manage uh, her estate. And, uh, you know, Britney Spears has been suggesting as early as 2014 uh, that her father be removed from his role in the conservatorship. And according to certain reports, um, in 2020, she asked the court to suspend her father from his role as a conservator. Um, and most recently, um, you know, she's voiced again her opinion and her um, thought of having to, you know, suspend or end this conservatorship. And Cindy will talk about how, you know, ending a conservatorship can be quite difficult. Yeah, that's right. So if the individual wants to terminate the conservatorship, the burden um, is on the party opposing the termination, uh, which is to continue the terminate the, the conservatorship. But what happens as a matter of practice often is that the individual is placed in the position of having to establish that they no longer need the guardian. So it, it, it's very difficult. Um, while conservatorships should ideally be set up for a specific length of time, um, that's often not what happens, okay? So it, it, a lot of times it's almost indefinite unless somebody says, hey, I need this to end or um, the consor either the conservatee says, hey, I need this to end or the conservator um, says that this person no longer needs the conservatorship. So instead, um, guardianships and conservatorship orders are often entered for an indefinite period of time and the individual under the conservatorship must prove that they no longer need it. Yes, and then, you know, the conservatorship, because it most of the time lasts for an indefinite period of time, the costs associated are quite high. So generally speaking, the court has to monitor the conservatorship. So, um, you know, every couple of years or every, you know, now and then there's going to be situations where the court will require a report, um, an accounting report, um, you know, make sure that everything is updated to the court. So the costs associated continue because they, the conservatorship may require an attorney to, um, you know, continue those services. Um, and so potentially a conservatorship not only, you know, lasts a really long time, but the costs associated also is indefinite because there's, uh, 
continuous reporting back to the court. Um, so, you know, what we want to basically let everyone know is that having an estate plan is very, very important. So before you're incapacitated, before you actually require this help, uh, you should try to set up an estate plan. You know, a lot of times, again, we never know what's going to happen. This is when, you know, when you're healthy, when things are good, you want to plan for certain unexpected situations. Uh, so ha by having an estate plan, you can avoid the unnecessary steps of setting up a conservatorship uh, and you can actually indicate who you want to help manage your assets and who can receive those assets upon your passing. So, you know, if you want to set up an estate plan, please feel free to contact Cindy and I uh, at Amity Law Group. We'd be um, happy to help you. We could guide you through, you know, all of these scenarios and certain situations that may pop up. Um, please uh, subscribe to our channel. We'd be happy to talk to you again. And uh, until next time.